time people, when they're doing this throw, they have trouble getting past the stiff arm and then they focus too much on the reef. And so what you see a lot of the time is people go for this throw like this. Okay? Now we went over two different ways that we can beat that stiff arm and get on the inside. But now what we're going to do is, let's just say our opponent goes for the throw on us. So Milton's going to do it to me, so he does an outside step. As that leg comes here, you know, as his hip kind of gets close, I'm going to try to turn my body to take away his angle. So if you look at my plane here, my feet are together here, so my weak plane is back and forth. I'm strong side to side, so if Milton tried to push me that way, like with any technique, I'm stronger than if he tries to push me this way, because of the plane that my feet are on together here. So when he goes into that position, the leg comes behind. If I turn here straight away, I've made it much harder for him to throw me back there. Because now my strong plane is kind of the way he's going. My weak plane is going across his body. So now what I'm going to do from this position is I'm now going to try and do a second step even further, twist, and then do the same throw to him as a counter. Okay. So here he gets in close, he does his step, I turn, and now if I need, because I've sort of slowed him down, I go back further, drive, and I go through with the exact same throw, but it's sort of a turning variation. So I'm here, as he gets in close, I go here, like that. Okay. So we're in this position, Milton goes for the throw, I turn, take him down with the exact same move. I land with my knee on the belly. Good posture. Okay. Everyone got the hang of that? All right, let's have a go. So go slow, one person goes. As soon as the leg's behind your leg, all you do is back step and then drive and lift that leg. This one works when we kind of reach a point where we're going to get thrown. So we're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. So Milton steps in. He gets that leg, and now I can't twist, I can't get an angle, I know I'm gonna fall. Okay, so in this moment, as I fall, the leg that he's lifting anyway, I'm gonna actually go with that motion, and I want my shin as high up under his armpit as possible. Okay, so my knee will be in his sort of chest, shin under the armpit, foot on the back. And I'm gonna pull him down on top of me. Okay, so just turn this way a little bit. So, Milton steps in for his throw, I realise I'm going to go, he goes to the throw, I pull and I land in here. So I want that in nice and tight. Okay. My other leg from the momentum of falling is going to attack this outstretched arm. So this other leg goes straight over his head, here. Okay. Once I'm in that position here, I clamp down on the head. I'm going to take the hand off the collar, not the elbow. The one under the elbow actually helps me with my fulcrum. Makes the armbar tighter. Pinch, hold the knee and then I lift to get the finish. Okay. So this is kind of an in the moment type of move. So he goes through his throw, boom. Okay, once I'm in this position, clamp down, pinch. I've got my hand under the elbow still. I let go of the collar to hold onto the wrist so he can't bend his arm. And then I get my finish. So we're here, he goes through the throw again. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Boom. I capitalize, pinching the knees, hold onto the wrist, and then lift. Okay, everyone got that? Yes. Try it when you throw that leg under the, uh, under the armpit. Try not to have it too deep like this. Because what will happen as I go, if it's really deep here, he might be able to shift his weight off it, and then it'll pop out like that. So you kind of want your foot on the back of their shoulder. So we're here, so as he goes, he throws me. See my foot here is in contact with his back. That now gives me this nice wedge. So if he tries to stack me, remember I'm straightening his arm. So I use my shin to keep him off.